Hey there, it's Steve from SeriousKeto.com. And in this video, we are going to be remaking a recipe my daughter and I did probably five years ago on our channel, Daddy Daughter Kitchen. I'll include the link to that below so you can see how far we've come. When we did that video, all we did to season the almonds was just add salt. Since then, I feel I've dialed in a pretty good wasabi lime salt seasoning that I think is actually better than the blue diamond almonds you get with the wasabi lime seasoning. On the subject of blue diamond almonds, you know, when you buy one of those little six ounce cans, that's like four, four and a half dollars. Or you can get a three pound bag of almonds from Costco for $12. So there's a pretty significant cost savings in making your own. Additionally, the macros on almonds are great as far as ketogenic snacks go. You've got 15 grams of fat, six grams of protein, and only two net grams of carbs. So let's get into making the recipe. What are you gonna need? First off, you're gonna need one pound of almonds. That's about three cups. Two packets of true lime, dehydrated lime. And I'll include the link for that below. Two teaspoons of wasabi powder, and I will include the link for that as well. Two teaspoons of really finely ground sea salt. We'll talk more about that in a second. And one tablespoon of neutral oil. I'm using MCT oil. You can use whatever you want. So to make our seasoning, first add two packets of true lime, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of wasabi. It's really important that your salt be as fine as possible so that it really adheres well to the almonds. So just to make sure that we get things really, really powdery, I'm gonna use a mortar and pestle to grind my various seasonings together. I'm gonna transfer that mixture to a seasoning shaker. You don't need a seasoning shaker. You can just sprinkle it on top of the almonds when the time comes, but um, you know, I've got it, so I'm gonna use it. Set a burner to medium high heat and add one tablespoon of neutral oil. I'm using MCT oil, it's super neutral, it has a very high smoke point. Swirl it around to coat the bottom of your pan. When the oil starts to shimmer, that's usually an indication that it's around 350 degrees, which is about the temperature we want when we add our almonds. Let's add those almonds. You're gonna to wanna to toss the almonds for about a minute to make sure that they're well coated. And then we're gonna turn the heat down to medium, somewhere between medium, medium low. Now something to be aware of, these times and temperatures that I'm providing, these are based on an electric stove. If you have a gas stove, um, this is probably gonna cook a lot more quickly for you and you're gonna to have to really be on top of your almonds, stirring them to make sure that none of them burn. We are at the 12 minute mark and the almonds are starting to pop and crackle. That's a good sign. We're probably just gonna give them about one more minute and then we're gonna put them on a cookie sheet and season them up. You're gonna to wanna to hit these pretty liberally with the seasoning because a lot of it will fall off and it's just, it's not as strong as you think it is. Or, you know, maybe I just love heaven, my sinus is cleared by wasabi. We've let our almonds cool for about an hour and a half, so they should be nice and crunchy. These are good. Now I will say, I like mine even with a little bit more wasabi punch. So maybe the first time you make these, use the base recipe as I described it. And if you decide you want more wasabi, kick it up, add another teaspoon of wasabi. If you want a little bit more of that citrus taste to it, add another packet of true lime. You could also take some powdered um, swerve and cinnamon and do like some cinnamon sugar uh, almonds. 
or you could create a barbecue rub and do it that way. If you enjoyed this recipe, click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, click the bell down there too. That way you're notified as I drop new content. Thanks for watching.